A cross-border firearms trafficking investigation named Project Moneypenny is being credited for taking dozens of guns off the streets. Toronto Police displayed the results. The project led to 42 arrests and over 400 charges laid, as well as seizures of illegal drugs and cash. 87 of the 173 weapons were found in a vehicle in Chicago, wrapped in holiday paper and destined for Canada. Officers say the seizure undoubtedly saved lives on both sides of the border. On display in front of us, there are approximately 80 of the 170 firearms that were seized in Canada and the United States as a result of this investigation. A seizure of this size is definitely going to save lives on the streets of the GTA and elsewhere. And as a result of the dedicated work of many at the Toronto Police Service and our partners in the room today. I will now ask each representative at the head table to say a few words, starting with my deputy, TPS Deputy Chief Rob Johnson. As a result of our combined efforts, 42 people have been arrested, 422 criminal charges have been laid, illegal narcotics, cash and 173 firearms have been seized in both Canada and the United States. As part of this cross-border firearm trafficking investigation, 87 handguns were seized in Chicago in a vehicle driven by a resident from Arizona and destined for Canada. The guns were covered in bubble wrap to avoid damage to the firearms and then wrapped in holiday paper in an attempt to avoid detection by border security. The guns were then placed in suitcases and placed in the back of the resident's vehicle. There are some guns unwrapped following the seizure. Along with the handguns, police also seized illegal and dangerous narcotics such as fentanyl, you see here. Cocaine was seized in addition to proceeds of crime. Police also seized three sets of body armor, along with several other items consistent with firearms possession and trafficking. The work of organized criminals spreads across borders, and our police work must as well. And now, after a year-long investigation led by dedicated officers from law enforcement agencies in both Canada and the United States, we have disrupted criminal organizations and their illicit activities for the good of the people in our city and in cities across Ontario and Canada. Make no mistake, when police take violent criminals off the street, not to mention guns, drugs and other proceeds of crime, we are preventing activities that diminish the quality of life for our citizens.